This is the Marlin Spike Hitch Knot. It is a temporary knot used to attach a rod in midline to form a handle. It will allow more tension and more pulling power than can be done by using your hands alone. When using your hands alone, the rope can slip through. You can use the knot on a single rope, so when you are pulling using your hands, it's going to slip. But with the Marlin spike, it's not going to slip anymore. You can also use it on a double rope, and it will function just as strong. It provides a better handle and a better grip to pull the rope. You can also use it and attach it to two separate ropes and form a swing. In fact, in emergency situations, this is the knot they use to form a temporary ladder. So, one rod at a time and you can form several steps using several rods or several sticks. Before proceeding on how to execute this simple knot, let's check out some of its practical applications. And then, let's check out how strong and reliable the knot is. It is very useful in tree rigging. In this scenario, the tree is leaning to the left. When you cut the tree, it's going to fall to the left and crash on the small shed. So what we do is we tie a rope and we tug the tree towards the right so that the fall of the tree will not be towards the shed but away from the shed. In this other example, this used to be a tall tree. A strong storm tilted the tree to the right and threatened to smash the shed on the right. So we had to cut it down but rig it before cutting it off. We tied a rope and pulled it towards the left so it will collapse away from the shed. This is another example of a tree rigging. This used to be a tall tree that again threatened to fall down on the shed towards the right. We rigged it with the rope and pulled it to the left as we cut off the tree. So this coconut tree is leaning to the left. If it is cut, it will collapse on the shed and destroy the shed. So we rigged it with the rope, but if we're going to pull the rope with our bare hands, it's going to slip. It's going to burn our hands. It's going to be very difficult, if not near impossible. Of course, the tree is stronger and heavier than one, two, or three persons. But with the aid of a Marlin spike hitch, we can add tension and grip to the rope being pulled without hurting or burning our hands. Here, let us attach the Marlin spike hitch with the rod. And there, you can see how we now have a firm grip on the rope. It does not burn and it does not hurt. If there are two or more people, you can simply add more Marlin spike hitches along the rope. So two, three, or four people tugging on a rope using a Marlin spike hitch will securely pull the tree towards the direction you want it to fall. As you can see, you now have a good firm grip on the rope and it will not slip or fail on you. Cutting the tree is one thing. Howling away the heavy fallen timber is the next problem. So in this example, I have a bunch of fallen thin trees that I rope together. They can be quite heavy and difficult to pull off. Even with the aid of the rope, there is the propensity that the rope will slip through your hands. Again, by using the Marlin spike hitch, we are able to put tension and grip on the rope so that it does not slip. It does not hurt our hands and we are able to successfully tug and pull away the timber or groups of timbers. Another practical use is when you are hoisting up something. In this example, we are hoisting up a group of timber. 
So, if we are using our bare hands to tug on the rope, it will slip through our hands, possibly even burning our hands. So, we attach a marlin spike hitch to the rope and then we can easily tug on the rope using the marlin spike hitch. So it's very easy to attach the marlin spike hitch and there we can now comfortably tug on the rope and hoist whatever object we are hoisting up easily. It will not slip, it will not burn our hands and we have more control on the upwards or downwards movement of the object being hoisted. Another practical application is, for example, you need to carry a voluminous amount of things that you tied together with a rope. If you simply tug on the rope, it might slip through your hands and it will hurt. So what we do is we attach the marlin spike hitch to the end rope and use it as a handle so we can lift the entire thing. See, if we attempted to lift a heavy bunch of objects with a plain rope, it will slip through our hands. The marlin spike hitch is easily attached. And just like that, we now have a carrying handle. But just how strong is this marlin spike hitch? How much load or weight can it carry? Let's put it to a test. So we attach this rope to the tree branch. And here, we will attach this piece of plank at the bottom of the rope using the marlin spike hitch. We will then sit on the plank and swing around. Let's see if the hitch will slip or it will hold the entire weight of the test subject. The test subject is a full 200 pounds. And there you have it, we are swinging in mid-air, and the hitch did not slip. The marlin spike hitch is able to hold a full 200 pounds swinging around. So it's able to hold that much load and more. And this is just on one single rope with one single marlin spike hitch. Let's now see how easily we can undo the knot and remove the plank. By any chance, did it jam? No? There you go. Just like that. One, two, three. We have undone the knot and released the plank. So how do we tie the marlin spike hitch? It's very, very easy. After the rope has been attached to the object that you're about to pull, you simply make a bite. To make the bite, you simply twist the rope in a manner similar to switching on a car ignition. Make a bite in a manner of switching on the car ignition. You now take this bite and you flip it upwards. Take the bite and flip it upwards. Now take the standing end of the rope and pull it through and inside the knot. Again, take the standing rope behind the bite and pull it through and inside the bite. And this is where you insert the rod or the wood that you're about to use as a handle. Dress it properly. And just like that, you have a marlin spike hitch. It will not easily come loose. It will provide you a staple grip of the rope. You can pull and tug as much as you want and as our test has shown, it will support as much or more than 200 pounds. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you will be informed of my next upload. Do comment down below so I can get back to you as soon as I can. And until our next upload, this is your host saying thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching.